new adventures in an odd world, gaming in your pocket, and music on the move. This is Totally Rated. The Sonos Roam is the smallest and least expensive speaker Sonos have launched, and both T3 and Tom's Guide have been putting it through its paces this week. The Sonos Roam is portable, durable, and competitively priced, making it an attractive Bluetooth speaker on the go and a great Sonos system enhancement back home with smart features from Alexa and Google Assistant. Now, the speaker is waterproof for 30 minutes up to three feet deep, plus the auto true play feature automatically adjusts the speaker's sound profile to best suit its surroundings, whether that's in a noisy park or in the quiet of your own space. The Sonos Roam really could be the best portable smart speaker yet. T3's Matthew Bolton agrees, but has an important note about battery life. If you want a smart looking and compact battery powered portable speaker that equips itself really well in the sound department and has the added bonus of working as part of a Sonos or Apple AirPlay 2 multi-room setup when you're indoors, then the Roam is a really, really good choice. The only small downside is the battery life, which at 10 hours is more of a spend the day in the park or at the beach kind of region than take it with you for a long weekend camping and have it last the whole time. The Sonos Roam is available to buy from April 20th and was awarded a solid four stars by both Tom's Guide and T3. Elsewhere, Games Radar got their hands on Oddworld Soulstorm, a game that was years in the making, but was it worth the wait? An early icon of the PlayStation era has returned in 2021 as Abe lands in an all new and fairly odd adventure. This is first since 2014's Oddworld New and Tasty. And okay, I did say new, but really you should think of Oddworld Soulstorm as a gorgeous and expanded recreation of 1998's Abe's Exodus. Well, if you find yourself yearning for modern games with that really cool 90s aesthetic you probably remember from your childhood, this will absolutely be your jam. You're not letting that Abe guy get away from us again! Oddworld Soulstorm is out now on PS4, PS5, Xbox Series X and S, and PC, with PS5 PlayStation Plus members getting the game for free until May 3rd. Remember a time when phones were just used to call people? Nope, me neither. But to make their latest offerings stand out in the crowded world of pocket supercomputers, Nubia are targeting budget-conscious gamers. But how successful have they been? TechRadar's Tom Bedford had this to say. If all you care about is gaming, the Nubia Red Magic is great. It's got top specs, a high screen refresh rate, and easy to use haptic triggers. The handset is a little rough around the edges though, with a noisy internal fan, some software issues, and a UI that might not be to everybody's tastes. The clincher for some though could be its price, which makes it more affordable than its rivals. Jordan Palmer from Tom's Guide had similar thoughts. A gaming phone ought to pride itself on peak performance, and the Red Magic 6 certainly delivers. It features a top-of-the-line Snapdragon 888 processor paired with 12 gigs of RAM, along with a built-in fan to keep things cool when under stress. Despite its status as a gaming phone, the Red Magic 6 is actually quite good once you set aside its camera performance. It packs in a lot of hardware and software features for the low price of $599, which is well below rival gaming phones. Tom's Guide gave the Nubia Red Magic 6 gaming phone 3.5 stars, while Tech Radar were a little more positive with a very respectable 4 stars out of 5. And that's it for this episode of Totally Rated. I'm Tom, and make sure to join us next time for a snapshot of what's hot and what's not in tech and gaming. 